So I want to talk about rapper YG. And you guys know I really don't have a lot of nice things to say about gangster rappers or bloods and crip rappers. It's not really my thing. But YG is in a situation where he was dating this singer named Kalani. I don't really know if she's black or something like that. But I do know that she's also a California native. And they were only dating like three months, all right? But here's something that happened, interestingly, after they broke up. There was an Instagram post that YG put up that mimicked what Young Thug said in the song, which says, don't comfort trying to comfort my B while we going through it. I know where niggas lives, black ops. This was after, like, she appeared in a picture with another popular rapper named Tory Lanez. All right? I got to get cut off with all these new rappers and shit. But why do rappers like YG, who have all the money and access to different women in the world, why do they trip off of just this one female? All right? Now, not to mention that he was just recently seen with Meg Thee Stallion, who's just dating everybody. But we got to talk about that. And let's start with a little bit of a personalized story for black men. Me, personally. Now, I ain't got no money. I'm broke. I'm dusty. But we've all had that situation where we were dating somebody. And we were also cheating on them. We probably was even treating them bad at some point. Okay? But you had your chicks on the side. And y'all break up. Now, this is how ridiculous men think. This is how our thinking is. We should be able to steal, screw whoever we want, and be able to do what we want. But the girl, once she has broken up with us, in our mind, we make it think like she ain't dealing with nobody else. Because you know how women are. Well, you know, I know that we broke up, but I just need time to think. I'm not seeing anybody. Who are you talking to? I'm not talking to anybody. Um, I just need the time to be alone and think about this, you know, and just, you know, get my mind back and all of this. It's probably what they be saying. And you still dealing with all of your women that you're dealing with. Right? But you but here's the thing. You don't like those other chicks like you like her. And for some black men, they might not be able to explain it. Because a lot of us can be like women in the fact that we will deal with chicks and have a greater liking for them who are not even treating us better. We might just like a certain thing about them that might make us love them. She might, you know, um, get some good sloppy. She might, it might be a whole different thing, but for whatever reason, you are more attracted to her. Okay. Maybe you have a different vibe with her and you have these other chicks you're dealing with, but it's her. And so when she gets with somebody else, although you got your stable of chicks you're dealing with, you are hurt. And I'm going to tell you why. And I've said this before. Shout out to Brother Falcon Black because he knows the story. What happens with brothers is when we get our ex-girlfriends get with somebody else, we replay it in our mind. What sex was like with, let's say, us and her. What it was like. But we then replan in our mind, whoever the guy is, we forecasted what it's like with them. And the fact that you can't get that no more and you still like her, she has cut you off from that. She might talk to you still. She might... You know, and then, then when you communicate with her, it's, it's cold language. Hi, what up? You know, she you, you don't have that access. You used to have all the access. You was used to having it your way with her. She would hit you up. You would be able to do whatever, come over. You know, you, you had control over all of her time if you wanted it like that. But now you're, you've been demoted. And you've been demoted and somebody else is in that thing. But here's the problem. You like her. You got feelings for her. Can we just be honest as men and say this? And sometimes I think the red pill is a little bit 
too unrealistic. Because even for brothers who ain't never getting married or never going to have a relationship, you still will like somebody or even love them. And when you lose them and somebody else get them and you don't have that same access, it hurts. When you can't get her like you used to and used to having her that way and now it ain't that way no more, that hurts. Some brothers deal with stalking. Some brothers deal with begging for a bag. Please, let me, please, let me, please. And then some brothers deal with it like YG. Which is, the way I'm going to deal with it is, I'm going to threaten everybody else. If you talk to her, you're going to have to see me. Because I'm YG. Young gangster. Whatever YG means. Young simp. And um, I mean, let, 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 let's be real. For YG to be hurt about that is not wrong. Because I, I mean, you could call her a thot or whatever, and she got all these face tattoos. She might not be your type, but for 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 or neck tattoos. But for her, for him to like her is not wrong. How he responds to it is wrong. And I will always tell somebody that there is always some woman with your number. And there have been chicks that I have been de dealt with before, didn't see no long-term future with them, didn't ever see I was going to marry them. But if they had somebody and wasn't talking to me no more, it hurt. They ain't going to lie. It hurt. So that's the thing that a lot of brothers got to understand. Even if you're a red pillar, you make tell whatever, it hurts. How you deal with it is how you should deal with it. All right. And let me talk to you about this. If a woman is playing those kind of games with you, this is what you should do. Okay. She ain't giving you what you want from her. Cool. Then obviously you don't talk to her at all. Some people are like, well, I'd rather have her in my life than I have her all. wrong decision. Cause then you're going to end up being more mad and she's going to throw that other guy in your face more if she's not going to do what you want her to do, don't talk to her. Either you giving me what I need from you or I don't get nothing at all. Now, you might be hypocritical and still be seeing what you're doing, but, you know, this is not fair, right? This is, life ain't fair. Leave her alone. Trust me, you will hear from her because that dude going to mess up, okay? Or she going to mess up. She'll hit you back. Hey, stranger. How are you doing? Haven't heard from you in a long time. And when you hit that, hear that, most likely, usually, that means you got her. All right? So I just wanted to drop that out there. You know, this is the reason why YG is doing it. He, he can't really, he don't, he don't know other any other way. See, a lot of times, y'all think because these guys are gangsters, they shooters, you know what I mean? They didn't been through the struggle. You think because of all of this, but some by some way they know how to deal with chicks because they screwed a lot of them or they had a lot of a lot of a lot of guys still don't know how to deal with adversity a lot of guys like him like i'm i'm yg what you mean you don't want to talk to me no more what what you mean that this is over what you mean that we're not dating no more i'm yg you know celebrities they people too so that's one thing i want to talk to you brothers about so make sure you like hit the bell subscribe all my contact information is at the um First comment, patreon.com backslash Negro Manos for five dollars a month. Thank you for all the brothers who support us over there. As you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.